What if we told you there was an incredibly simple and effective way to massively reduce the amount of water that you use in your garden and still provide your plants with optimal hydration? We've been using our Oyas from Grow Oya in our garden for a little over a year now, and they have been the biggest game changer in our garden after getting our soil happy and healthy. We've been really impressed with the quality of the Oyas from Grow Oya, and since installing them in our garden beds, we have consistently been using 70% less water. Welcome to the Frederick Family Acre. We are so happy to have you here with us today. And before we dive in to how amazing Oyas are, we'd love to hear from you. How are you currently watering your garden? Let us know in the comments below. What is an Oya? An Oya is a clay vessel or pot that gets buried underneath the ground. Oyas are an ancient method of irrigation that slowly release water out into the soil. By slowly releasing the water underground, it ensures that the water is available right at your plant's roots whenever they need it. Also, this method of irrigation reduces the amount of water that you will use in your garden by as much as 70%. You can increase this water savings even more to as much as 80% by pairing Oyas with mulch. And if you're looking for some great ideas of mulch you can use in your garden, check out this video that we just did all about the power of mulch and lots of different types of mulch you can use in your garden. We will also link this video down below. Another fantastic benefit of using Oyas is it greatly reduces the amount of weeds in your garden. With the water being deep underground, the seeds on top are not getting water they need to sprout. I think we've pulled maybe a handful of weeds from our garden in the last year since we've started using Oyas. Plants do not like to be stressed. Oyas keep the soil cool and moist at the root system, allowing plants to take what they need when they need it. Watering underground also reduces soil compaction and runoff. It allows the nutrients to stay in the soil instead of being washed away with a downpour of water. A major key to using Oyas is selecting the right size for your garden bed or container. If you select an Oya that is too small, the water is not going to reach out as far as you need it to too large and you're gonna just be putting in more water than really necessary. Grow Oya has a great chart on their website to help you figure out the exact size that you'll need for your garden. Once you've selected the right size Oya, it's time to install it in your garden. You can do this after the plants are established if you have to, but we found it's much easier to put them in before you do your planting. Today we're installing in a three foot by three foot bed. So we are using one medium Oya. In our other raised beds, which are three feet by six feet, we use two medium Oyas. To get them installed, all you need to do is put enough dirt down in the bottom of your bed in order to get the top of the Oya a couple inches above where your soil will wind up being depth wise. Then you're gonna place your Oya in the center of its space and fill dirt in around it. Once this is done, you can go ahead and mulch your space because you absolutely should be mulching in order to gain all of the benefits from using an Oya. Then you can plant and finally water in and fill your Oya. If you have to install an Oya and you already have established plants, it's important to disturb the root systems as little as possible. So just very carefully dig an area in the center of your space without disturbing the root systems, place your Oya in and then fill dirt back in around it. Once that's done, same steps. Mulch up, fill it with water, and you're good to go. Oyas really are the most simple method to water your garden. Just fill them up, put the lid back, and you are good to go. Just check back every two to 10 days to make sure that you top them off. We've found on really hot days here in Southern California, occasionally we have to top them off daily, but that's very rare. And in the winter, we've gone as long as 10 to 12 days in between filling. The key is to spend a lot of time in your garden, checking on your plants, taking a look at them, and you'll know if they're not getting enough water. If you do live in a climate that freezes, you will need to remove the Oyas at the end of the gardening season. These are super easy to take out in store. When you remove it from the soil, just rinse it out really good, clean it with 10 parts water, one part vinegar, and then store it in a safe indoor space. 
It's best to use Oyas to water plants that have larger sprawling root structures. For example, brassicas are a great option. These are your plants like kale, broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, all those leafy greens that you get in the spring and winter garden. Also your nightshade plants, which are gonna be your peppers, tomatoes, eggplants, even potatoes. And last but not least, all herbs and flowers are a great choice to use an Oya to irrigate with. Now what not to plant with an Oya? This is gonna be things like root crops, beets, radishes, and carrots. Things like that should be avoided. When planting, you will need to do overhead watering when you put your seedlings or you direct sow into the ground until the plants have an established root system that can reach the water that is put out into the soil by the Oya. It's also important to never put liquid or granular fertilizers inside of your Oya. These are going to destroy the inside, clog them up and all around just ruin your day when it comes to watering with an Oya. Instead, go ahead and apply your fertilizers on top of your soil every four to six weeks or as needed. And this will be the time when it's important to water your soil in, in order for those nutrients to reach your plants. Before we talk about where we get our Oyas and why we love them so much, if you have learned anything in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you know someone looking for the perfect way to water their garden, please share this video with them. We really appreciate it and it helps us a lot. We get our Oyas from Grow Oya and they must be marketing geniuses because this literally says Grow Oh Yeah. Now we found them while we were looking for ways to save water in our garden, which everyone should be doing even when you are not in a drought instance, which 40% of the US right now is in a drought. So these things are coming in handy. If you decide you would like to get your Oyas from Grow Oya, we will have a link for you down in the description below, along with a coupon code for 5% off. If you are watching this when we released it, it is July of 2022 and they will be having a restock very soon and trust me when I say they will sell out fast and one way to get notified when they're back in stock is to go to their website and put your name on the list to get an email as soon as that restock happens. Grow Oya is a company that is passionate about getting a garden in every household and that is so important because food that is grown in your home, in your garden, is the freshest and best tasting food on the planet. They also have an excellent fundraising program for school gardens in which schools can do an Oya drive to raise funds and awareness about the benefits of having home and community gardens. There's information for that on their website as well, but we will include that link below so it's easy for you to find if that is something that might work for your school. And last but not least, Oyas really do remove the intimidation out of watering your garden. They are so much simpler than setting up a drip system with timers and they reduce the need to guess how much water you're putting into the ground when you're watering overhead by hand. And a quick bonus tip is that Oyas are a great way to get your kids involved in the garden if you have children. Our boys love helping water with these and it makes us confident in them helping because they're not going to be splashing water all over the plants and we know that the exact amount we need is going right into our Oyas. We really want to thank you guys for hanging out with us here at the Frederick Family Acre. We know your time is valuable and we love that you chose to spend it here with us. My name's George. And my name's Katrina. We will see you right back here in the next video.